Hello everyone, today I'm showing you one more advanced case on how to automatically hide rows based on multiple criteria. So um, as a recap, um, I did have a video on how to automatically hide rows based on formula driven cell values. So um, I did paste the code there. Basically, you have to use the worksheet calculate uh, private sub function to make it work. So now I'm coming back to a more advanced version, which is instead of one criteria, we actually have two job done uh, to select from. So let me show you how to do that in a minute. Um, so let me recap the case for you. So basically I have um, multiple salary structure in my case. Um, they are hit in different roles. So as you can tell, um, in, well, in this case alone, I have three salary structure. One is for Canada, um, two, is, uh, two are for India. So the scenario that I want to realize is that, well, I have a country selection which is formula driven based on a very simple formula that I set. Um, and then based on the selection of true and false, um, I'm able to select either India or Canada for the country. And then for the location, um, I'm setting it in a way that um, I also have a function. So I'm setting it in a way that if it's Canada, then basically there's no location selection. Every location assumed to be in the same um, salary grade as shown here. But then if I select India as my country, then I would have two options. One is Mumbai um, and the other option is non-Mumbai location. And then I can choose that based on the two and four selection. And then um, assume that for this organization, they do have two different um, salary structure for um, Mumbai and non-Mumbai location because Mumbai is paid at a premium. So in this case, how do we make it so that based on the, the both of the selection, we can get the salary structure we want. So as always, I've always prepared the code for you in advance so that um, you don't have to type it and I'll paste it in the description area. So you can just copy and paste directly once you understand the rationale behind it. So um, the first step, um, this is a little bit more complicated than what I showed in this video. So I think it makes sense here that we have the, um, the country and location uh, set up the name. So let's see how, um, how this works. So First, we still need to make sure this um, macro code appears in the sheet in that we have this function in. And then the second thing is that it's a worksheet calculate um, <clears throat> function still because we uh, both of our cells are formula driven. And then we set the country and location. Um, we define the name of it, which is the cell that we have in the selection. And then we actually have two select case code run here. The first one, um, this part, um, is actually very much the same as uh, what we had in this uh, macro, um, in this video. The only difference I think is that, note that in our case here, because we do have multiple um, ranges for India now, so you have to make sure you select the right rows as well. So in our case here, um, if it's Canada, then we want to make sure both the Indian rows um, are hidden. If we select Indian, then we want to make sure the Canadian rows are hidden. So the first set of cell base solve that. Um, and then for the second part, um, for the second part is basically, showing that we need to select the location. So um, we know that the case can either be uh, Mumbai or the non-Mumbai location. So when it's Mumbai, when our case for the location is Mumbai, then we want to make sure first the Canadian ranges are hidden. Um, this is code for that. Um, and the Mumbai range is shown. So the hidden, this uh, entire row hidden is false which means this part is showing. And then the non-mobile location range is hidden. So this part is hidden. And then a similar case for the non-mobile location. So you, you uh, when you have select non-mobile location, then Canada, Canada range hidden, mobile range hidden, but the non-mobile location is 
um, showing and then again close your select um, code and then end this up so now let's test that so <clears throat> both cells are formula driven so make sure you just select the true and force in our case so for Canada when we select Canada the location is automatically shown as blank because that's how how our formula is set and then we only see the Canadian range when we have Indian <clears throat> Um, then we can choose either true or false, and then depends on this one is non Mumbai, then we show the non Mumbai. If it's Mumbai, then we show the Mumbai locate, uh, Mumbai range. Yep, so that's how easy it is. I hope that this is helpful for what you want to do. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'm happy to help you out. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.